For the next 72 hours, I'm only going to be in sardines. Sardine fasting was invented by Dr. Annette Bosworth. Dr. Bos specializes in reversing medical problems through healthy keto living. She first implemented sardine fasting when she was traveling with her family and wanted to find an easier way to stick to a keto lifestyle. After completing the sardine fast and realizing all the amazing health benefits, which we'll talk about later in the video, sardine fasting was born. Right, before we get started, let's discuss the rules. So the 72 hour fast does not begin until you eat your first tin of sardines. During the fast you can only consume sardines, water and black tea or coffee. There is also no eating routine or window, just eat whenever you're hungry. Right, that's it. Let's uh, eat some sardines. Okay, so here we are, breakfast time, which I think is gonna be the most difficult time to eat on this challenge, because sardines for breakfast. So I just weighed in at 169 pounds this morning and did a little physique. Just wanna clarify that I don't do any of my fasts for weight loss, it's more for the experience and to see how it feels. I just do the physique and weight check, just to show that I'm actually doing the fast, because I could just turn the camera off and eat normally. So showing that I've actually lost weight kind of shows that I'm sticking to the diet. So it says on the rules that you can eat as many sardines as you want throughout fast so I've no idea how many I'm gonna eat but can't imagine it's gonna be heaps to be honest so the sardines we're gonna be having are just these ones in tomato sauce they only had these ones or ones in olive oil and the four sardines in oil was not for me I've already pushed it as late as I can it's 11 o'clock Tuesday mornings bottoms up that actually wasn't so bad each tin is only 225 cows so I'm probably just gonna whip down one more Okay, so that's gonna be it for breakfast. I definitely don't feel full, but at the same time, I don't feel hungry, and I don't think the point of the challenge is to eat as many sardines as humanly possible. So let's start the countdown. Lunch time. Okay, so before we stop for lunch, I just quickly wanna take a second to explain why I'm actually doing this fast. So a few days ago, I had a minor operation, which means I can't really do much for the next couple of days. So I thought by fasting, I might be able to speed up the recovery process. Did you know that animals will instinctively abstain from food when they are injured or ill? Digesting all the food you eat uses a lot of your body's resources. So by eliminating food, your body can fully focus on healing and recovery. Granted, I'm still eating sardines. However, eating sardines should put me in to ketosis which has many positive benefits we'll talk about later in the video anyway let's get back to lunch oh my god no we got there but as we can see already the lack of carbs is making me so weak i can barely open a tin of sardines dr boz does say you can also season your sardines she suggests using black pepper and mustard but for me i'd rather just get it down me to be honest Let's see if I can open this one normally. Yay! Quick tip if you're gonna try the sardine fast out yourself is don't make eye contact with the sardines when you're eating them. Just close your eyes and get it down you because I looked at that one a little bit too much and it has made me feel a bit sick. Dr. Boz also says to check your ketones throughout the fast so you can see that you're slowly going into ketosis. I did this on my seven day water fast and apart from telling you that you're going into ketosis, seeing the strip get darker each day really helps motivate you and see that you're going in the right direction. Fortunately, my operation got moved a few weeks earlier so I didn't have time to prepare and get all the things that I wanted to do for the fast. Right, I think it's finally time we talk about some of the amazing health benefits from sardine fasting. Sardines are highly nutritious. They are high in omega-3, vitamin D3, vitamin E, calcium, selenium, COQ10, RNA, DNA, and minerals. They are very difficult to overeat due to the high protein and high fat content making them very satiating. Also, who really wants to eat a load of smelly fish? 72 hours of only eating sardines will also put your body into ketosis. Keto Ketosis has many benefits such as weight loss, improved mitochondrial function, regulate insulin levels, decrease inflammation and oxidative stress, as well as having you feeling more energized and focused. For the rest of the day, I didn't really do too much. Just slowly started to edit this video as well as ate two more tins of sardines, which was somehow becoming more disgusting the more I ate them. One day down, two more to go. Good morning, so it's day two of the sardine fast. It's actually almost two o'clock. I've already gone for a coffee with Loretta and I got this snazzy San Fran pitcher from the charity shop. I think I realized last night when I was eating my sardines that I actually really don't like sardines, but we're nearly halfway now, so I guess I've got to trudge on and eat some more sardines. Oh, actually impossible to open them without like either breaking the lid or getting tomato sauce everywhere. Cheers. 
Right, I'm gonna eat another one because I just wanna get it over and done with. So one of the reasons I wanted to do this challenge, there's a guy on YouTube, I think his name's called Brendan Carter, and he said he starts his day every day with two tins of sardines. So I was like, oh, obviously can't be that bad. This is rough. Okay, that's breakfast or lunch done. All right, I guess I'll <clears throat> get back to editing this video. The rest of day two was pretty uneventful. I edited, went for a little walk, and forced down four more tins of sardines, with each tin realizing how I actually hate sardines and should have probably thought about that before starting the challenge. Anyway, two days down, one more to go. Good morning and welcome to day three. So it's a little after one in the afternoon and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have to try and eat some sardines. I know I said earlier that I didn't want to add any season to them, but I feel like I have to because it literally makes me feel sick the thought of eating any more tins. It's time to break out the big guns. Dr. Boz says your seasonings have to be low in carbohydrates. Obviously the whole point is to get in ketosis. One serving of Nando's hot sauce is 0.5 grams, so I think we're pretty fine there. Hopefully this will make it a little bit more enjoyable today. So that's my final sardine breakfast done. As you can probably tell, I'm really struggling eating these sardines a lot more than I anticipated. But sardines aside, I actually do feel like I'm getting the benefits of the fast. I do feel like I'm entering ketosis. I feel energized, I feel focused, and I feel a lot better in general. So we're nearly there now, less than a day to go to finish. And I'm excited to see what the results are gonna be tomorrow morning. It was another evening editing, eating my last two tins of sardines, as well as watching people eat food on YouTube. Excited for the final results, as well as for this challenge to be over. Okay. So we're finally ready to share the results. So at the start of the transformation, I weighed 169.5 pounds, and this morning I weighed in 165.7 pounds, so about four pounds down, as well as 1% body fat. According to my fancy scales, saying I went from 20% to 19% body fat. During the three days, I ate 16 cans of sardines, which equals 3,728 calories. Split between the three days equals 1,252 calories a day, which explains the weight loss. I actually found this fast pretty easy. The only main drawback for me was that I don't like sardines whatsoever. And I should also quickly mention that, that adding the hot sauce to the sardines was also not a good move, but I'll let your imagination fill in the rest of that. As I said previously, the main reason I wanted to do this fast was to see if it helped speed up my recovery after surgery. And to be honest, today I feel pretty damn good. Granted, I could have probably felt like this anyway, but I do feel like the fasting did help me. Usually when I'm feeling under the weather, I like to gorge on chocolate and junk food to make myself feel a little better. So doing this fast helped me to avoid that and really helped my body to just focus on healing and recovering. If you've never fasted before and the thought of only eating sardines for three days doesn't make you feel sick to the stomach, I highly suggest giving this fast a go. I also have a whole playlist of all my previous fasts that I'll put here that you may find interesting or at least motivating if you're someone who's looking to get into fasting. So that's going to be it for the video. If you do have any questions about fasting, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.